Okay, fine. Uh, so I actually this is the second day. Yesterday uh, was the first session. Uh, yesterday we were discussed about. Uh, I hope everyone can view my screen, right? Everyone, Ayappa, Akila, yes, yes. everyone in the class, Jyotirmay, Gurdeep, everyone can view my screen. Good. So, uh, Monica, yesterday we were discussed about uh, uh, okay, very basic points here. So let me recap all the points once again for Monica's sake. First of all, the people listen carefully and try to understand what I am speaking here. Uh, Monica, uh, Salesforce is a vendor company. Vendor company can also be called as product-based companies like Microsoft, you know, Oracle, Google, SAP. So these are all what? Vendor companies. Like these companies, Salesforce is also a vendor company. This company started in 1999, San Francisco, California, USA. The company CEO is Mark Benioff. And this company runs on the concept name is called what? Cloud computing. In today's class, we are going to discuss about what is cloud computing. Okay. So this is the meaning of Salesforce. I hope you understand, Monica. Okay. And we have second type of companies like, you know, TCS, Cognizant, Wipro, Infosys, Capgemini, okay, Accenture. We have plenty of companies out there. Actually, the difference between these companies and these companies are, I can say these companies, Oracle, Microsoft, Google, these are all product-based companies, whereas TCS, CTS, Wipro, I can say these can be called as service-based companies or development companies. Okay, all of you. Good. So the difference between these two companies are vendor companies are those companies that develop their own software products like operating systems, programming languages, some databases, etc. Like Windows operating system developed by Microsoft company, ABAP programming language developed by SAP, Oracle database developed by Oracle company, Gmail application developed by Google, .NET technology developed by Microsoft, MS Office the package developed by Microsoft. So according to this explanation, what do you understand is, vendor companies are those companies, they developed their own products, software products. Using these products, service-based companies like TCS, CTS, Cognizant, Wipro and all, these people develop the software applications. Development companies, service-based companies develop the software applications as per the requirement of the clients. So who are the clients here? Clients are nothing but business people. And these clients are using software applications in their business. Okay. Like, you know, we have some people doing banking business, some of them doing insurance business, some of them doing, you know, hotel business, education business, telecom, automobile. Okay. These people are we can call them as what? Business people. And these people using software applications in their business. So according to this explanation, what you understand is there are basically three important persons in IT industry. One is vendor companies. Second one is service-based companies and clients. The relation between all the three people is vendor companies are those companies that develop their own software products. Using those products, Development companies develops their own software applications as per the requirement of the clients. And clients are the business people. They will use software applications in their business. So this is the relation between all the three important people in IT industry. After that, we were discussed about the advantages of using software applications. So there are basically three major advantages of using software applications. First advantage, it saves your time. Second advantage, we can get the security. Third advantage, what? Scalability. So these are the three major advantages of using software applications. So, Monica, you please take the recordings, recording of yesterday's class from Durga Management. Okay, so that they can clearly understand what we discussed in the last class. Understand everyone in the class? Monica? The rest yeah, of we you. understood. Yeah, fine. Thank you. So now I'm going to start with uh, yesterday, you know, we were discussing about advantages. 
now I'm going to discuss about what difficulties. So what is today's date? 9, 7, 24. This is the day two. So let us start the today's class. What are the difficulties of using software applications? What are the difficulties? Okay, let me give a small example so that you can clearly understand the problems in software applications. Let us assume I have a company. Let us assume I have a company. My company name is called XYZ Company. Okay, and this company maybe is going to start maybe next year. That is why for my company activities, for my company activities, okay, I need some software application. I need some software application. So I given this project to a development company called TCS. So TCS is a development company or service-based company that everybody knows. So TCS is going to or need to develop the project or application as per the requirement of XYG company. So TCS point of view, who is XYG? Tell me. Obviously, XYG company is a client, yes or no? So in this particular example, TCS need to develop the application as per the client requirement. If TCS wants to develop the application as per the client requirement, okay, what TCS require? Any one of you, what TCS is required to develop the application as per the client requirement? Any development company or any developer I am talking, as a developer, if you want to develop any application, any software application for any person, for any company, whatever it is, as a developer, you need minimum three things. You need how many things here? Three things to develop the application for any developer. The first one, the foremost one is what? Programming language. Guys, without programming language, it is not possible to develop the application for any company for any client. And also we need some database. Because without database, how can we store the company information? If you want to store the company information like company employee details, company customers details, company products details, company activities information, where we can store? All this information is stored in where? Database. That is why to storing the information of the company, we need some database. If you want to develop the business logic, we need some programming language. And above all, we should require what? One operating system also. Because, you know, without operating system, it is not uh, possible to start the system. Yes or no? That is why operating system is most important. Without operating system, system cannot run. That is why I can say these are the three important things for any developer to develop the application. Programming language, it is meant for to develop the business application. This business application handles business logic or business activities. And database is used for to store the, come on, company's information. Yes or no? What is database? Collection of company's information stored at a particular place. Without operating system, system cannot run. Yes or no? Come on, all of you. So these are the three minimum things to dollar the application for any client, for any company. I hope all of you accepted this point. Yes or no? Ayappa, Chandrasekhar, Gurdeep, Jyotirmai, Monica, Pavan Kalyan, Rupti, yes, Vaishali, everyone in the session. Yes or no? Accepted all of you this point? Yes. Good. Now, one simple question I'm asking. One simple question I'm asking. In this example, TCS 
need to develop the application as per the client requirement. Yes or no? If TCS wants to develop the application as per the client requirement, TCS need one programming language, TCS need one database, and also it need operating system. My question is, try to understand my question clearly. What is my question is, is TCS can use pirated software to develop the application as per the client? Yes or no? Just try to understand the question clearly. Is TCS can use pirated software to develop the application as per the client requirement or not. What is the meaning of pirated software? Pirated software means what? It's a duplicate, yes or no? Come on. It is not original licensed software. Am I correct or not? Come on, guys, speak out. I have a Pavan Kalyan, Monica, everyone in the class. Unmute and talk with me, guys. Are yesterday everybody spoke with me. Today, what happened? Come on, guys, be active in the class. Trupti, Vaishali, Gurdeep. Can you hear me? Uh, yes, we are able to hear you. Yeah, rest of the people. Are you angry me or what? Are no one speaking? Ayappa? Hello? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Are you angry on me or what? Uh, no, 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 no. Actually, uh, I don't know the meaning of pirated software. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah, pirated software means, you know, the duplicate software. It's not original licenses software, okay? So, TCS okay. is not supposed to use what? Pirated software to develop the application for any client. Okay, development companies should need to use should need to use original come on license software okay they need to buy they need to buy from vendor companies understand all of you this point they are not supposed to use what pirated software every development company every service based company need to buy original license software from vendor companies so in this particular example okay programming language they want to use about programming language tell me about is a programming language just like java this language uh, you know developed by or uh, this product is developed <laughs> by sap company okay and coming to database they want to use oracle database in our example tcs so they need to buy Oracle database from Oracle company. And they want to use Windows operating system. This Windows operating system developed by, you know, Microsoft company. Yes or no? Come on, guys, speak out. Yes. 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 In this particular example, TCS need to buy a programming language from SAP company, Oracle database license from Oracle company, Windows operating system license from Microsoft company. Let us assume Windows operating system original cost is approximately 5 lakhs. Oracle database approximately 15 lakhs. And whereas a programming language approximately, you know, 10 lakhs original software cost. Very expensive actually. So 10 plus 15 plus 5, total 30 lakhs should need to invest by whom here? Come on, TCS company. Yes or no? They invested 30 lakhs. They bought all three products from all three vendor companies. Using all these three products, development company TCS developed the application as per the client requirement. Okay? So testing are completed. Deployment is also completed. Testing completed. Deployment also completed. And tomorrow... Client and client employees, company employees are going to use this application. Yes or no? Come on, guys. If client and client employees wants to use the application, client also need to buy 
all the three products from all three vendor companies. Client also should not use what? Come on, pirated software. Point clear, that is why client also need to buy all the three products from all three vendor companies. So that client also need to invest how much here? 30 lakhs. If you observe carefully, 30 lakhs invested by TCS company and another 30 lakhs invested by XYG company client, total 60 lakhs business coming to total 60 lakhs business coming to vendor companies. Yes or no? Come on, guys. Yes. That is why. That is why among these three people, who is the first person here? Client. Second person. <clears throat> development companies. And who is the third person here? Vendor companies. Among these three important persons, clients, development companies, and vendor companies, vendor companies people or vendor company people getting getting more business, getting more business revenue than, than clients and development companies. Do you understand what I'm speaking here? Yes. That is why, that is why vendor company owners, vendor company owners, vendor company owners are the richest people in the world. Accepted or not? Come on, guys. Accepted this point. Vendor company owners are the richest people in the world. Accepted. Who is Bill Gates? Vendors. Microsoft company owner. Who is Larry Ellison? Oracle company owner. Who is Mark Zuckerberg? Come on, guys. Yes. If you type top 10 billionaires in the world, if you type top 10 billionaires in the world, top 10 billionaires in the world, top 10 billionaires in the world, if you type this, see, top richest people in the world. Look at this. Elon Musk, one minute. Elon Musk, Jeff Bezos, Bernard Ornett, Mark Zuckerberg, Larry Page, Bill Gates, Steve Ballmer, Larry Ellison. Who is Larry Ellison? Oracle. Hello. Bill Gates, Microsoft. Larry Page and Larry Ellis Larry Page is Google. Mark Zuckerberg, Facebook. Hello. Can you hear me? Yes. So out of 10 people, minimum 4 to 5 people belongs to vendor company owners only. Yes or no? Come on, guys. Okay. So why? Because vendor company is getting more business than clients and development companies. All of you accepted this point? Yes or no? That is why I can say vendor companies, vendor companies, vendor companies, or vendor company people are the most visionary people. Understand the point here? 
is all of you accepted, accepted my statement? Vendor company people are most visionary people. They're having more vision. Okay, they are completely business people. Clear all of you? Good. Fine. Now, I am going to discuss about the difficulties here. What are the difficulties? The difficulties are, we are in software field. Yes or no? Speak out all of you. Guys, you have to interact with me. Yeah? Then only I can take the class. Otherwise, I cannot. Please speak with me. We are in software field or not? Yes. Okay. Yes or no? Yes. In the software field, software versions keep on changing. Yes or no? Yes. Software versions keep on changing day by day, year by year. Yes or no? Good. So, whenever version will change, accordingly, both the clients and also development companies need to what? Upgrade the software. Yes or no? Whenever version will change, both clients and development companies need to upgrade the software. Correct or not? Whenever they update the software, they have to come on, install the software. And also they have to maintain the software. Maintaining the software means, what is the meaning of maintaining the software? Maintaining the software means they have to maintain their own database servers. They have to maintain their own application servers. They have to maintain their own networks. Yes or no? They have to maintain their own firewalls. Protected from the hackers, yes or no? So everything is maintained by whom here? Both the clients and development companies. It's all comes under what? Maintenance, installation, upgradation. So the major difficulty, the major problem in software applications are both the clients and development companies, they need to keep on upgrading the software whenever, whenever version will change. Whenever upgrade the software, again, you have to install the software. And also, they have to maintain the software, maintaining their own database servers, maintaining their own application servers, maintain their own networks, maintain their own firewalls to protect the uh, hackers. Yes or no? So everything comes under what here? It is going to increase. It is going to increase. It is going to increase the... Come on, guys. It is going to increase the setup cost. Do you understand what I am speaking here? It is going to increase the cost like anything. These are the major problems. These are the major difficulties of using what? Come on, guys. Software applications. I hope all of you understand the difficulties of using software applications. Ayappa, Chandrasekhar, Gurdeep, Jyotirmai, Monica, everyone in the class. Okay. Pavan Kalyan, Sejal, Vaishali, Sridevi, everyone in the session. Be active in the class, all of you. Yeah, I okay. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, sir. So, yes. one of the major problems here, every time clients and development companies need to keep on upgrading the software, need to keep on installing the software, and also they have to maintain the software on their own. It leads to increase what? Cost. Because of the cost, because of the cost, because of the cost, okay, you know, only top-level companies only top level companies are using are using software applications in their business but not come on guys small companies or i can say medium level companies accepted all of you Because of the cost, what is this? Only top level companies are using software applications, but not what? But not small companies or medium level companies. Why small companies and medium level companies are not using software applications in their business? Because they cannot afford what? They cannot afford setup cost. Understand the point what I am speaking here? Because of the cost, small companies and medium level companies are not able to use what? software applications in their business. For your better understanding, I'm giving a small example so that you can clearly understand uh, this point. Okay, let me give a small example. For example, you people know about KFC. Yes or no? Come on, guys. 
I am going to the KFC. Suppose I ordered one burger there. Okay, if I ordered one burger in KFC restaurant, there is a person who is uh, always standing in front of the system. He takes my order. He feeds my order into the system. He given some printed token to me. I need to wait for some time. Then after I will get the order. It means that if you go to KFC or if you go to any McD or McDonald's or if you go to any Papa John's, if you go to any you know, um, Subway or if you go to any Domino's Pizza or if you go to any you know, uh, Pizza Hut, whatever it is. If you go to any restaurant, okay, they are having its own systems. They are having its own software to run their business. Am I correct or not? Everyone in the class. Yes. Yes or no? Good. Okay, very good. In Hyderabad, in Hyderabad, let us assume there is a small bakery. There is a small bakery. I go to the bakery here. I ordered one burger there. Same burger. So the bakery owner, he just takes my order. He given the order to me. He did not maintain any computer in the bakery. Because it's a small bakery, he did not maintain any software to run the business. Correct or not? He did not use any software application to run his business. Why KFC using software applications? Why KFC using computers to run the business? Why not bakery here? Because answer is very simple. Because KFC has lots of branches across India, across the globe. Am I correct or not? Come on, speak out. KFC company turnover in crores. But whereas bakery, only one branch in Hyderabad. Bakery turnover is what maximum thousands or lakhs in a year. That is why the bakery owner cannot afford what? Cost. That is why bakery owner not using what? Software application in their business. But whereas KFC owner can use what? Software applications in their business. Because KFC can afford what? Cost. Do you understand what I am speaking here? Yes or no? Good. Come on, guys. Accepted this point? Yeah, understood. Yes. Okay. Now tell me, in the world, top level companies are big companies are more, small companies are more. Tell me. Obviously, small companies, medium level companies are more than big companies. Yes or no? If top level companies are, if small companies and medium level companies also wants to use software application, what we have to do? We have to reduce the cost. Yes or no? If you reduce the cost, then small companies and medium level companies are also going to use software applications in their business. But how to reduce the cost? How to reduce the cost? Answer is very simple. Right now, guys, I wore, I wore, okay, a Calvin Clean T-shirt. Which company T-shirt? This t-shirt cost 5,000 rupees. Tell me, out of 100 people, how many people can afford 5,000 rupees normal t-shirt cost? Maximum 5 people. So, company gets only 25,000 rupees business. In case of the Calvin Clean Company, the t-shirt cost reduced from 5,000 to 2,000 rupees. Out of 100 people, okay, I can say at least, you know, 80 people can afford this. 80 into 2,000, Company will get how much? 1,60,000 business. Yes or no? Come on, guys. Yes. Means that if you reduce the cost of the product, then automatically number of customers will increase. If number of customers will increase, then you will get more business revenue, more business profit. Yes or no? Correct or not? Ayappa, Sri Devi, Tripti, Vaishali. Yes, sir. Everyone in the class. Yes, sir. Okay. Shaker, can you hear me, Chandrasekhar? Good. So how to reduce the cost? If you reduce the cost, then automatic number of customers will increase. But how to reduce the cost? This is the question arises. This is the question arises. Okay. Vendor company people. That is why vendor company people come up with, they come up with 
a new technology, a new concept, I can say, called as, what is this? Come on, guys. Cloud computing. Cloud computing. Understand the point here? Yeah. yeah. But why are, why uh, most of the companies using uh, softwares still not migrate into cloud, cloud computing? Because most of the people still, there is a myth. There is a myth saying that in cloud computing, your application, your company database, everything is maintained by whom here? Third party company, yes or no? Come on. Yes. So your software, your database, your application is not running in local machine or local server, right? Your application, your database, your information completely maintained by third party company. That is why, okay, I'm having some doubt. If my company database, if my company information is maintained with third party company, there could be a chance of disclosing my company information to my competitor. Yes or no? Come yes, on. there is a chance. Yeah, there is a chance. That is the reason. That is the reason most of the people are not still migrating. But slowly, slowly, the people are migrating to what? Cloud. Because they cannot afford what? Setup cost. Answer is very simple. Answer is very simple. Uh, who is asking this question? What is your name? Ayapa. Ayapa. So yes. your, uh, your jewelry or your uh, property documents, where we can store? In your in my local, in your safe, in your home, in your home, no. Your jewelry, your uh, property documents, everything you have to fa if you have to you have to um, uh, save in where in the bank locker, yes or no? Yeah, in case it's a huge amount, we'll. Uh... Huh? Yes, yes. So, third party company is a bank is going to maintain your. Uh, uh, you know, property document and uh, your jewelry, your gold, everything, whatever it is, yes or no? How can you believe the bank people? Why are you believing the bank people here? Because you have that, you have that trust on them. Am I correct or not? Yes. Okay. Like that here also. Okay. If you go for a cloud computing, computing cloud, cloud technology side, your application, you migrate into cloud side, you no need to bother. Okay. Everything is safe. Because they are maintaining what? Complete firewalls, complete full protection. Clear all of you? You no need to bother about this kind of problems. But this is why nowadays, slowly, slowly, almost 60 to 70 percent of people migrating to what? Cloud technology side. Because they cannot afford what? Cost. Understand, Ayapa? Yes or no? Yes, yes. Yes, okay. I understand. Thank you. Fine. So, what is cloud computing, first of all? What is the meaning of cloud computing? Cloud computing means it is a technology or I can say it is a concept here whatever IT services we need, everything will provide by whom here? Vendor company. As a user, we just need only internet connection and access those, you know, services. Just try to understand the meaning of cloud computing, everyone in the class. Cloud computing is a technology or it is a concept. Here, whatever IT services we need, all services are provided by vendor company. If you want to access these services, the only thing what we require is what? Come on, guys. We need some internet connection, internet service. If we have internet facility, 
we can access all the services whatever we want and how much services we want we want so all services are provided by vendor company this is the meaning of what cloud computing once cloud computing came into the market both the clients and development companies they no need to upgrade the software they no need to install the software and also they no need to maintain the software means they no need to maintain their own database servers they no need to maintain their own application servers they no need to maintain the networks firewall firewalls everything will be taken care of by whom here come on guys vendor everything installation maintenance everything provided by or maintaining by vendor company only as a user we can happily access all the services the only thing what you require is what we just internet connection if we have internet we can access all the services for your better understanding suppose take the example of you know about gmail application tell me gmail application developed by whom here google company google. using this application what we can do we can send and receive the emails yes or no but gmail application developed by google company maintaining by maintaining by google company installed by google company upgraded by google company yes or no if you want to access that gmail application what do you require here just internet connection internet service if you have internet service internet facility can we access that application or not yes or no yes 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 same way cloud computing means what all it services are given by whom here vendor company the only thing you require is what internet that's it so everything upgrade installation maintenance everything will be taken care of by vendor company only that is why once cloud computing came into the market okay both clients and development companies are free from are free from what upgrading the software installing the software and maintaining the software that is the advantage of what here cloud computing okay still for your better understanding i'm giving a, a simple very simple example about cloud computing uh, so that even a layman also can easily understand the concept of cloud computing with this example so let me give a small example here what is my example is i want to check my mails every day and also i want to take print out that's it i want to check my mails and also i want to take the print out every day if i want to check the mails if you want to take the print out what i have to do first i need to buy one laptop am i correct or not speak out all of you come on guys yes yes sir and also i need to buy one printer i need to buy some white papers to take the print out and also i need to take some internet connection to check my mails now tell me internet charges every month i need to pay 1000 rupees or you know 1500 rupees depending on the speed white papers cost approximately 500 rupees printer cost approximately 10000 rupees laptop cost approximately 50000 rupees total near about 60 to 70000 rupees i need to invest say sir no yes okay instead of investing 70000 rupees unnecessarily simply i am going to simply i am going to some internet center near by home in the internet center i can check my mails and also there i can take the print out yes or no come on yeah yeah okay. it's alternate tell me who provided all these facilities in the internet center owner of the internet center yes or no who are maintaining the internet center that person giving what internet facility that person giving what white papers to take the print out he given the printer facility he given the systems yes or no all these facilities are given by whom all these services are given by whom here internet center owner simply i go there i can access all the services i just pay the amount and come back am i correct or not tell me is this happens in real time or not obviously it happens same way the way how internet center owner provided all these services same way here also vendor company provided what all services 
the only thing what you require is what internet facility we can access all these services very happily you no need to install you no need to upgrade you no need to maintain everything will be taken care of by vendor company so whatever services we are using how much service we are using for those services only we need to pay that is why this can be called as what is this guys pay per use model pay per use means how much services we are using for that service only we need to pay you no need to pay anything extra correct or not suppose i am going to the internet center suppose i am using 15 minutes or 20 minutes i have to pay 10 rupees am i correct or not come on guys suppose next day i am using 30 minutes i have to pay maybe 20 rupees Okay, if I'm using one hour internet, I have to maybe pay 40 rupees. Okay, if I'm using maybe three hours, I have to pay maybe 100 rupees. Next day, fifth day, I'm using only 10 minutes, I have to pay me only 10 rupees. Am I correct or not? Come on, guys. So, how much time I'm using? Accordingly, I have to pay. I no need to pay anything extra in the internet center. Am I correct or not? Same way here also. Whatever services we are using, for those services only we need to pay to whom? Vendor company. That is why this concept name is called pay per use model. So according to this explanation, what you understand is all services given by vendor company so that clients and development companies no need to okay, do all these things. Everything will be taken care of by vendor company. Then automatically what happens? cost is going to reduce because especially maintenance cost is reduced, setup cost reduced, then automatically what happens? It is available not only for what? Top level companies. Applications can also use it by okay, medium level companies and as well as small companies. Then automatically customers will increase. If customers will increase, automatically vendor companies getting more profit and more business revenue. Say yes, sir, and all of you. Come on, guys. Yes, sir. This is the concept of what? Cloud computing. I hope all of you understand this example. If you understand this internet center example, you can easily understand the concept of cloud computing. So am I clear this part of the explanation regarding cloud computing? Ayappa, Chandrasekhar, yes. Jyotirmai, yes. Gurdeep. Yes. Everyone in the class, Monica, Pavan, Sejal, Vaishali, Trupti. Yes, sir. Yes or no? Yes, sir. Good, good. Thank you. Chandrasekhar, Pawan Kalyan? Yes, sir. Good, good. Thank you. So that's all about the meaning of cloud computing. Okay. Now, maybe Gurdip got a doubt here. What is Gurdip's doubt is, sir, I understand the meaning of cloud computing with this example and all. Very fine. I clearly understand. But you keep on saying that the vendor company providing what? Come on, guys. Come on, what is this? IT services. What kind of IT services vendor company provides? Listen carefully. Vendor company basically provides three types of services. How many? Three types. One is IaaS. Second one is PaaS. Third one is what? SaaS. R-A-A-S. IaaS stands for Infrastructure as a Service, Platform as a Service, Software or Application as a So in tomorrow class, we will discuss about what is the meaning of infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, software as a service. All these three services I will discuss in tomorrow class. Understand everyone in the class? So in today's session, I just discussed about only two points. Point number one. What are the difficulties of using software applications? 
and how those difficulties overcome throughout cloud computing. Only these are the two points in today's class we discussed. I hope all of you understand this. Ayappa, Chandrasekhar, Gurudeep, Jyotirmai. Yes, sir. Okay. Monica, Sejal, Sridevi, Trupti, Vaishali, everyone in the session. Every head in the class. Yes, understand, uh, Sai, but uh, end user, how can I use the application like Flipkart? If in case uh, we are building the uh, Flipkart application talk, in... Uh, you are talking about end user point of view or talking about uh, developer? End, end user point of view, not client, uh, not uh, developer, end, end user point of view. So you are talking, I am talking about only client and development point of view here. Client is the end user. Okay. Okay. We are all developers. So if you think from developer point of view, okay, if you want to download the application for any company, we need what one database, one programming language and all this or not? Yes. That is given by whom here in, in cloud computing? You no need to buy the license, no? Come on. Suppose you are a Java developer, you are going to application for the company. Okay, you have to install what? Java software in your system. Am I correct or not? For that, you yeah. need to buy what? Original software, licensed Java software. Correct or not? Yes. But that, that programming language given by whom? Vendor company. Using that language, you are the developer. You are going to download the application as per the client requirement. So client using your application. Nothing loaded in your local machine. Everything in cloud only. Yeah, understood uh, clearly. But my doubt is like, uh, for example, uh, we built uh, Flipkart, right? Hmm. So uh, how can I use the customer, that application? Yeah, if you want to use Flipkart application, what do you require here? Tell me, what do you require? I want to use Flipkart. I want to use maybe, maybe Amazon. Okay, what I need? Internet connection. Oh, that is enough. I can access the service or not. Flipkart is one service that is developed by some development company. I can access that application. If I want to access that application, what I require? Internet connection. That kind of service can be called as what? Come on. <laughs> application. Flipkart is an application. Facebook is an application. WhatsApp is an application. Bookmeshu is an application. If I want, if you want to use those applications as an end user, I'm talking, what do we require? Internet connection. That is enough for us. We can access those applications or not. That kind of service can be called as what? Application as a service. Come on, yes or no? Yes, yes. Now you clear, your dot is cleared? Yes. Yeah. Any questions, please? Any questions from anyone, please? Chandrasekhar, Gurdeep, Jyotirmai. Are there no one speaking today? What happened? Monica? Example for that uh, infrastructure as a surface switch. That I will discuss tomorrow, Jyotirmai. Oh, okay, okay. So I'll Thank be you. 7 o'clock. Once I started this, it takes another five, 5 to 10 minutes to discuss about this. Yeah. So I don't want to stop in the middle. Okay, I will start very freshly tomorrow regarding all the three services I'll explain you. Okay? Fine. Sure. Client will pay for licenses. Obviously, obviously, guys, I am the Nike company owner. I am the Nike company owner. So let us assume like this. Or maybe Adidas. Okay? So, to run my business, okay, some some X company downloaded the application. If I want to use the application, okay, my 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 company also should require what? Okay, this company developed on which application? Developed on Windows operating system. Let us assume like this. But my company having Linux operating system. But this application developed on Windows operating system. Sell, tell me, is this application can run on, can run on Linux operating system? Not possible. That is why I have to install what? Windows. Can I use pirated Windows operating system in a company? No. I have to buy 
original Windows operating system license from vendor company called Microsoft. Yes or no? That is why client also need to buy the original application, original license software. Understand the point, all of you? Especially this guy who is this, asked this question. GP Gurpeet. Clear now? Good. <clears throat> That's all about the today's session, guys. My second session is going to start. They are waiting for me. So I hope all of you enjoy the class today. I'll catch you tomorrow. Tomorrow, we will discuss about what all the three services. Thank you all. I think Monica can understand the class today. Yes, understood. Sorry. Thank you. I'll catch you tomorrow, same time at 7 o'clock. Have a nice day, all of you. Thank you. Bye. I hope all of you enjoyed the class today. Yes or no? Yes. Thank you.